back to my channel and for new year hi guys this is my channel drawn b and thank you so much for watching this video so in today's video guys uh, i wanted to just sit down do a makeup look i wanted to try a couple of new products i have the wet and wild photo focus foundation this is a highly highly raved about foundation guys so i wanted to just and excuse me later i just wanted to uh try this foundation today i'm not sure whether this will be a perfect match for me to be very very honest but we'll see uh i also wanted to to try it along with the wet and wild photo focus pressed powder to be very honest i did try this uh, pressed powder a lot of times and i really really love uh this pressed powder but uh, paired with the actual wet and wild foundation i've never done it so i want to see how that looks uh, i wanted to try the wet and uh, wild uh, glitter icons as well. i think these are called as glitter icons and i don't know why whenever we order online it comes with these stickers and they're so hot so 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 hard to remove but this is what it looks like so i wanted to use this as well and yeah the morphe 35f palette i mainly use uh this palette for the highlighting purposes so i wanted to try it for the actual eyeshadow application purpose so i'm gonna do that and we have a new liquid lipstick and yeah so let's get into the video but before we go ahead guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure guys that you hit the notification bell if you would like to stay updated about whenever i update a video because uh, youtube is youtube and they have decided that until unless somebody uh, hits that notification bell nobody is going to get notifications about uh, their favorite youtuber uploading a video even though they subscribe to their channel youtube is really smart huh so yeah anyways so make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video if you like this video and please do not forget to subscribe 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 please 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 subscribe so yeah without wasting any worth for the time let's get into the video my face is already moisturized so i'm just get directly going to go and go ahead and apply the milani prime light primer is it focusing please focus yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and apply the prime light primer i actually uh, enjoy this primer very 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 much you guys i like this primer very much i'm basically applying this literally everywhere guys literally i think i'm just gonna zoom you in just a little bit there we go so i'm applying the primer literally everywhere so once the primer is all set into our skin guys i'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup revolution banana powder which is this powder i literally like throw stuff everywhere that i usually do guys i mean i think now uh, i'm at a point where this has become a part of my routine to be very honest i mean it's not that you have to do it also but i prefer doing this now or rather than just going ahead and starting off by applying the foundation i find that this helps in keeping the oils in control makes uh, my face look more matte or uh, look more matte for a long time so I'm just being very messy guys with this powder so yeah also guys this powder does give me that extra coverage as well which is good I mean your girl needs the extra extra coverage also I'm not naked guys I mean, I'm wearing something okay so basically just pushing this in so i'm going in with the wet and wild photo focus foundation guys yeah uh, this is in the shade golden beige uh, i don't know if this foundation would be uh, like a good match for me mm, i don't know we'll have to see that otherwise we are just gonna go ahead and apply a lot of bronzer on top of it so i think at the end of it it shouldn't look so weird let's hope so so by the way guys this foundation is like really really raved about foundation i've heard a lot of youtubers actually rave about this foundation also this is not a review guys really it's just me trying out so a little first impressions but this is just one product so this is this 
cold video is not a first impressions if you know what i mean but yeah this is a really raved about foundation uh this foundation actually claims that uh, even at night time or even in flash uh when you take a photo there is not uh, there's there isn't going to be any flashback so i'm really excited about that so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this foundation let's pray to the gods that this is a good match so this is what the applicator looks like a little messy but i think you can make it work i mean i've dealt with worse packaging than this so yeah hmm mm -mm -mm. so maybe this won't be a good match uh, whatever let's see this applicator is good for applying the foundation like really easy guys like you it's so easy to put this foundation literally everywhere and my hair is getting in the way so okay yeah so it's basically easy to apply foundation everywhere so yeah i think i like the applicator actually i think that's a little too much but we shall see also guys this foundation does really have a, a pungent smell so yeah this foundation guys does have a really pungent smell i mean it's not like something unbearable unbearable but it does have the distinct smell so if you're somebody who's like really sensitive to smells in general and you cannot stand it then maybe you wouldn't like this so much uh but yeah we'll see so i'm just gonna take a clean uh, foundation buffing brush and i'm just gonna buff in the foundation so let's hope it looks good no this is definitely light so bringing down our neck is something that we have to do yeah guys that did not go as planned that shade was really 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 light for me and it did not i mean i couldn't have even buffed it i mean even if i put the foundation all over my body it wouldn't have matched so instead I'm just gonna go into my trusted foundations which is the Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation and the Makeup Revolution foundation. So basically I just want to mix these two foundations today. So I'm gonna go and go ahead and do that instead. Uh, I don't know, I still don't know about the formula guys because I haven't really tried the foundation yet. So maybe it will be good. I mean it's the most raved about foundation. So maybe it is a really good foundation. I really don't know about that but the shade was like way off for me so instead i'm just gonna go into the foundations that i know so basically i'm putting this and then i'm just gonna take my huda beauty foundation and i'm just gonna go ahead and dot this as well so makeup revolution foundation also is a little bit dark for me i mean i can get away if i use like um uh like a really uh a lot of uh, really a lot of bronzer but yeah onto the concealer and i'm going back to my trusted concealer uh not trusted concealer i mean like this was my most favorite concealer once upon a time so i'm just gonna take this concealer this is the maybelline age divine concealer and this is in the shade neutral so i'm just gonna go ahead and i mean i'm almost done with it i just want to finish it I want to do is in the areas that we've actually concealed i want to use the makeup revolution powder so i'm just gonna put that there first so yeah i think this is in the shade medium i'm not exactly sure i'll just look it up and uh, i'll uh, i'll just look it up and i'll leave for 
it in my description bar uh, next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take another brush a clean brush and I'm gonna pick up this powder and I'm gonna put this everywhere else So yeah guys, I've completed my eyebrows off of camera because these are usually something that takes time and it's boring to watch. Uh, so basically I just did my eyebrows. I use the Nikak eyebrow pencil in the shade black. This is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils guys. I mean this like really 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 works well. And I just filled in my eyebrows. I did not uh, overline them, overfill them, anything like that, nothing like that. I just filled in very 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 lightly so we've done that next we are going to move on to the actual eyeshadow look and i'm going to use the morphe 35f uh, eyeshadow palette I mainly use this palette guys for the purposes of highlighting basically i just take use the top row here just to highlight uh my face i mean it's it's an amazing 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 highlighter so i usually do that with this eyeshadow palette uh, i've not really played much with the other shades for the actual application of the eyeshadow so i thought i'll do that in today's uh, video so yeah we are gonna go ahead and get started so basically i'm just gonna follow i mean the only matte shades in this eyeshadow palette are is the last row right here the uh, rest all are all the shimmer shades so i'm just gonna follow the order i'm gonna start from here and then go till the darkest brown shade that we have here i don't know if i really want to use the black uh, eyeshadow today but yeah i'm just gonna follow that order so i'm just picking up that first shade and i'm basically using that to set my eyelids so basically i run my hand to remove the creases and then i quickly set it with powder the uh, matte shades that that this eyeshadow palette has uh, are pretty universal and i think everybody uh, with any skin tone can actually get some use out of those matte shades and the shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous guys they're so buttery so easy to use so yeah so once i've set my eyelids guys i'm gonna move on to the next shade which is the shade right here so basically what i'm gonna do uh sorry <laughs> so basically i'm going on moving on to the next shade guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm basically mixing these two shades right here uh and i'm gonna put them in my crease So basically I'm just putting my brush back and forth into those two eyeshadow eyeshadow shades and I'm going to put them in my crease so right there. I'm just putting this all over my crease guys. Also, as uh, many of you already know, uh, I am doing my uh, German classes online, guys, uh, and I think uh, I'm pretty much enjoying actually learning the new, learning a new language. It's exciting. It's new. Uh, but the uh, only downside to it is, guys. They never get my name right. I mean, in, in when I was in India, the worst my name was called was Pujita. I'm Pooja, by the way. My name is Pooja. So the worst I was ever called was Pujita. And here, oh my God, the butcher my name. And no offense to anybody, guys. I mean, obviously we butcher the name too sometimes. I mean, so it's new. It's a new word. So it's a new name. So you always say it in a weird manner. So here they like literally butcher my name, guys. I'm not kidding you. Uh, so basically in German the J is pronounced as Ja so they call me Puya and I, I don't even correct them at this point of time I'm like yeah it's fine yeah call me Puya it's fine yeah my name is Puya so I know it sounds weird but yeah sometimes they do get it right sometimes they're like your name is Puja right and I'm like you, you can say my name right but yeah now I know how everybody else feels, uh, I mean everybody whose name has ever been called wrong feels, so I feel ya, yeah. I feel ya. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna move on to the next shades actually and I think and again I'm going to combine these two shades. I'm using the same brush, same blending brush that I used to apply the transition shade and I'm going to apply those two shades. So basically I'm again running my brush through those two shades and yeah. I'm putting this almost over uh, the transition shade, maybe just a tad bit little below it. 
so we'll see so I'm mainly putting that shade on the outer corners and whatever is left on the brush after I've put the maximum shade on my outer corners, I'm bringing it towards my inner corners. So first I'm just putting it on my outer corners and then with whatever product is left, I'm just bringing that to the inner corners. I'm gonna do the same thing on my other eye as well. Yeah, so I've put that shade right there guys. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil brush actually. And I'm going to take the darkish brown shade that this eyeshadow palette has, uh, which is next to the black one. So this shade right here. So I'm just going to pick up this shade and I'm going to put that only on my outer corners. Basically, guys, never put a darker shade on your eyelids and then a lighter shade on your outer corners. That's, uh, that's like completely throws the look off. That's not the right way to do it. So apply like when you see me applying like shimmer shades. So I apply the, the lightest shimmer shades on my eyelid and then there's a dark outer corner and then I go lighter. So I don't know if I'm making any sense. Hopefully I am. So I'm just picking that up on a pencil brush like this guys. Yeah, so I'm just gonna picking that uh picking that up on a pencil brush like this and I'm just gonna put this on my outer corners. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So basically I'm using the tip of uh, this uh, uh, brush and creating a, a certain angle so yeah I'm just taking a clean brush like this and I'm gonna blend all of that out I'm not using an additional product on this brush guys so yeah Yeah, so once I've blended out that eyeshadow guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer and I'm going to carve out my inner corners. So yeah guys, I pretty much like carved out my eyeshadow or my uh, eyelid guys using the concealer. I'm I'm not been really like, uh, it's it looks like slightly messy uh, because my hand was, I don't know why it was shaking so bad. But yeah, it is a slight, it, it looks slightly messy but trust me once you put on the eyeshadow on top of it, you won't, you won't be even able to see it. So next I'm just gonna take any flat brush just pick up any other flat brush that you have and there are a lot of gorgeous shades in this guys trust me they all look so fucking pretty trust me maybe uh i don't know all of them are so 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 pretty guys so but i think for today's look i'm just gonna pick up this shade right here uh, this is the shade and this is how it looks like so basically i think i'm just gonna pick up that shade and put that everywhere that we've actually laid on the concealer so i wanna put this first without or uh, any using any fix plus because of concealer itself does the power of intensifying the eyeshadow but yeah i'm just just gonna use any fix plus for now if needed we'll go back but yeah i'm just gonna put this everywhere that we put the concealer it does look gorgeous guys go back and take that pencil brush guys and intensify the outer corner shade right there yeah so once we've laid down the dark shade we are gonna go ahead and start blending this out
it is guys but i think i want to apply the black one on my outer corners as well uh because uh, i feel it is missing something i think uh, the depth is missing i just want to add some depth to the eyeshadow look so i'm just going back and taking the same pencil brush uh, and i'm picking the dark uh, i mean not dark the black shade i mean the darkest of all so i'm just picking that very very lightly on my pencil brush and i'm being like really precise guys we do not want to look like a raccoon at the end of the day so i'm just putting it only on outer corners so right there So yeah, I think it added some depth to the eyeshadow look. I think that is, that's what was missing. Yeah, so we've just put that where we want it to. Next, I'm just gonna take another clean blending brush, guys, actually. And I'm gonna blend that black eyeshadow. So yeah guys we are pretty much done with our eyeshadow look for now so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take take so i'm just gonna take a clean uh, brush like this fluffy brush and i'm gonna wipe away the powder so lash line guys so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the same thing that we did on our uh, eyelid so first i'm gonna start off uh, by using the dark black shade and I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put it all over I'm just 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 putting it right there only on the outer portion a very small pencil brush like this and I'm taking the dark brown shade which was just right beside the black one and I'm basically just gonna buff out my whole lower lash line with that so putting it right there beside the black one eyeshadow blending brush like this and I'm picking like pick, uh, picking up the transition shades that we laid down and I'm just gonna buff this whole thing out So yeah guys, once we've buffed out all of that, next we are going to move on to the glitter icon that I showed you which was from the Wet n Wild. So basically I want to put this on my inner corners. I don't know, I have absolutely no idea, idea how that's gonna look but I just wanted, wanted to give it a try. I mean I saw a lot of eyeshadow looks uh, where in, uh, uh, I don't know how I got eye foundation on my head guys. <laughs> So yeah, very nice. I saw them put glitter in the inner corners and I always wanted to try it. So I think this is the day that we are going to try it. So I'm just picking that up. So this is how it looks like guys. This is the glitter icon single. I think this is in the shade Groupie. Yeah, icon glitter single wet and wild in the shade Groupie. So I'm just going to pick that up on my brush. Uh, this is a pressed glitter guys, so it says that you d uh, did not go in with the glitter glue uh, uh, for using the shades like this. But we are, first we are just going to put it as it is and then if I find a need to, I think I'm going to go into the NYX glitter glue. Apply a little bit of this and maybe on top of that I'll apply the glitter. So I'm just putting this in my inner corners. Wow, my inner corners are really going to look like really popping tree, huh? I don't know, I've seen so many like put glitters in the inner corners and I was like, oh, I want to try that. But I never really got around trying it, obviously, but yeah. I don't think we need to go in with um, 
glitter glue so what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the glitter and bring it uh, in my inner corners and my lower lash line so just to ride up so now we are going to just highlight our brow bone we are finally done with this look like i think this look has literally taken me forever to finish so basically i'm just taking a morphe brush uh, this is like any like tiny i think this was supposed to be a eye eyebrow brush but i'm just going to use this to highlight so um which shade should we highlight with go ahead with this highlighting shade right here and i'm going to use that shade to highlight my problem So yeah guys I have finished applying my falsies and my mascara and for the falsies guys I used the Ardell Wispies I think these are just called as Wispies so I bought this whole set so these are the Ardell Wispies and for the mascara as usual I used my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and to uh, put on eyeliner in my lower lash line I used the Essence Casual in black so I've done all of that so next we are quickly going to move on to the bronzer guys and for the bronzer again I'm going to use the Mislim bronzer this is the Beach Please bronzer and I'm picking it up on a Morphe brush and I'm basically just going to get to bronzing. So yeah, once we've done that, next we are going to move on to my favorite part, which is the highlighting part. And for the highlighter today, guys, I'm going to use the Becca X Jaclyn Hill uh, uh, highlighter in the sh in the shade Champagne Pop. Uh, I've missed this highlighter so much. I've been using the Wet n Wild uh, highlighter in Precious Petals for a really long time, but I wanted to use this highlighter today. So I'm just gonna coat my brush with this. This is a really gorgeous highlighter, guys. Even though the price point is is a little out there, I love this highlighter. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, so next up we are finally done for the lips guys i i don't know which lip i want to do i think this lip is going to be a little bit too bright should we do like a nude lip today guys mm -mm. yeah i do feel but i think this will go well with the inner corner glitter that we're going on that we have going on anyways so let's try this and if you feel that it doesn't look so good we'll go on to the nude one this is the essence matte 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 long lasting lip gloss in the shade strawberry skies uh, i really love this formula guys i mean i tried the uh, nude one in this uh, uh, formula and oh my god it was so 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 good so i just wanted to give this a try so let's see So hi guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. At the end guys, I, re I really like how uh, the look turned out. I like how my foundation looks guys. I think combining the Makeup Revolution and the Uda Beauty foundation. I mean, those were my two favorite foundations and I was like, okay, let's try to mix them. I just got the idea. So I mixed them and I really like how it looks. I just did one layer and it covered up my whole existence i really like that so and i also like the lip shade which went really well with the inner corner glitters guys uh it was uh i would i would say the glitter was a little bit difficult to use i mean glitters in general are difficult to use but uh i i don't know but it looks good though uh, i mean i went back and forth uh, a couple of times but it does look really good i love how the foundation looks i like the lashes and i like the lip shade very 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 much i think i already said that so yeah guys this is the finished makeup look that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video guys please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below what you thought of this video and i will see you in my next one